This is now the five-minute tarot for the 19th of February 2017. And this one is about how you can have confidence in your ability to read the tarot, even if you don't right now. At the end of this video, you'll, have, you'll know that you have confidence or that you don't need to have lack of confidence. Okay, so my starting point is that if 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 something is linear, it's like it's in a straight line or it's in a line and you get different stages and steps along the way. So you get a beginning, a middle and an end. Oh, touch the microphone. Um, however, life isn't like that. Life isn't linear because you've got all sorts of different things at different stages of development all at the same time. So you can be... Um, uh, experience in this area but lacking experience over here but you don't need to develop great experience over here before you can develop something over there you know it's sort of all going on at the same time maybe of different maybe levels of development or understanding or different skill levels in different areas and it's all sort of connected and that's what life is like so when we when we take a linear approach, it's kind of artificial and it seems to give answers, but it really doesn't. So let's say you have to walk 10 miles. Okay, you've got to walk 10 miles and after 100 yards, you stop. Okay, because you're tired or bored. You know, it's like children in the back of the car. You know, we've got a two hour trip. But after like one minute, they're saying, are we there yet? So if you judge your trip, your 100 yards walk, in a linear kind of a way, you haven't done much. And you think, okay, I've got another nine miles, 1,660 yards to go, a long way to go still. But during those 100 yards, you might have noticed flowers and colors. You might have um, remembered something that was important, that makes a difference for you. Or maybe you came to a decision about what you're gonna do or how you're gonna handle the situation. So a lot can have happened in, in those 100 yards, in that 100 yard walk, even though it's part of a 10 mile walk, a lot can have happened if you judge in a non-linear way. So you might think about how much you know about the tarot and you give yourself one out of 100 for the magician because you're, you, when, whenever you see the magician, you don't know what to do. Or you might give yourself half out of 100 for the chariot card. But you, you, you like the Ace of Batons and the Four of Cups, so you give yourself 25, 30 out of 100 for those two cards. The, but you know that if you learn something about the Four of Cups, then that understanding of that moment of insight can be applied maybe to the Two of Swords as well. Or you can apply it to multiple different cards. So when, you, when you're learning the Tarot, it's kind of all at once. And it's not linear. You don't have to know the magician before you can know about the high priestess. It doesn't go like that. So at the same time, on your hundred on your hundred yard walk, you can have insight in different areas of life that have nothing to do with where you are on the walk. So you can relate books and TV shows, conversations with friends, conversations with enemies. Pretty much everything can be related to the tarot. So you can always be increasing your knowledge and your understanding and the insight that, you've, that, that, that you gain. So a single moment of insight can change everything. And you know that, let's say you've been talking with somebody. Think about a time when you were having a conversation with somebody and um, you realized something and it changed how you relate to everybody. It changed your whole, the whole basis of your relationships. This kind of thing can happen. And it can be your relationship with other people as well as your relationship with yourself. This is if you take a non-linear approach. So I think if you judge your ability with the tarot and judge your confidence in a linear way, then it's going to give you something. You'll have an answer to how good you are at reading cards. But if you judge your tarot reading ability or your tarot reading involvement in a non-linear way all at once understanding that something you understand over here can be applied over there if you 
judge your ability with the tarot, the whole picture at the same time, then you're going to know that confidence or lack of confidence isn't relevant to reading the tarot. Because what is important is being in the moment and working with a question. You answer the best you can at that time based on your current understanding. And then afterwards, you assess what you did, figure out what you'll do better, better next time, what you could have done differently last time. Introduce some changes, some improvement into your technique so that the next time you're going to do better. So reading the tarot is not about confidence, even if it seems to be about confidence. It's misleading to think of beginnings because we're at various different stages in different areas of our life, as well as a different areas of understanding, and it all works together. So be confident. You may as well. There's no reason why you ought not to be confident, but it's because you're if your starting point if your if your desire is to be learning and to be improving your skill and to be be becoming more knowledgeable, then as you practice with the tarot, as you do readings, you're automatically going to improve. It's not about confidence. That's it for the moment. Tomorrow I'll pick a card and we'll see how it goes. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.